Welcome to this presentation of the STM32 Direct Memory Access Controller, called DMA. It covers the main features of this module, which is widely used to handle the STM32 peripheral data transfers. The Direct Memory Access, DMA, embedded in the STM32G0 microcontrollers is used to provide high-speed data transfers between peripherals and memory and between memory and memory. Data can be quickly moved by the DMA without any CPU action. This keeps CPU resources free for other operations. The DMA channels can access any memory mapped location, including AHB peripherals, for instance the CRC generator, AHB memories, for instance the SRAM, APB peripherals, for instance the USART peripheral. The DMA controller supports two AHB light ports. One is the master port used by the DMA channels to autonomously access memory mapped locations, memory or peripherals registers. The other is a slave port providing access to the DMA controller control and status registers. Most APB peripherals can be configured to assert DMA requests. This is particularly useful for communication peripherals and converters. ADC and DAC. For example, let's focus on the ADC controller. It acquires samples that are temporarily stored in an internal FIFO. To transfer these samples to a buffer in SRAM, the STM32G0 offers two possibilities. Asserting an interrupt request and transferring samples from FIFO to memory by software, or relying on a DMA channel to empty the FIFO and transfer the contents to a buffer in SRAM. The second solution requires much less workload from the CPO. The DMA controller has three interrupt outputs connected to the nested vectored interrupt controller. The DMA request bus is a collection of requests issued by APB peripherals. The mapping of these requests to DMA channels is performed by the DMA request multiplexer, DMA MUX unit. Note that timer events can be used to periodically trigger DMA transfers. Two units are in charge of handling DMA transfers. The DMA request multiplexer, DMA MUX, and the DMA controller. The DMA controller transfers data from a source address to a destination address and manages the priority between the channels. The DMA MUX enables the user to map requests to channels. It also handles triggers and synchronizations. The DMA MUX is described in a dedicated presentation. The DMA controller has seven channels in total, each dedicated to managing memory access requests from many peripherals. Each channel has flexible hardware requests and support for software triggers. The channel software priority is programmable and a hardware priority is used in case of equality. Channels are independently configurable. Each channel has its own data format, increment type and data address for both source and destination. Independent channel interrupt flags allow triggering half transfer, transfer complete and transfer error events. In case of a transfer error, the faulty channel is automatically disabled without any impact on the other active DMA channels. For each channel, the source and destination data size format is independently configurable for 8, 16 or 32-bit packets. The source and destination addresses and pointer increment are also independently configurable. The transfer data size can be pre-programmed up to 65535 bytes. Circular buffer mode is available to support a continuous flow of data. The source and the destination addresses and the number of data to be transferred are automatically reloaded after the transfer completes. Memory to memory mode allows transfers from one address location to another without a hardware request. Once the stream is configured and enabled, the transfer starts immediately. When data is transferred to or from a peripheral, the hardware request coming from the selected peripheral is used to trigger the data transfer on the DMA peripheral port. Once the transfer is completed, 
the request is acknowledged. The DMA controller does not pack or unpack data. When the source port is narrower than the destination port, data are aligned in the destination memory based on the destination port width. In the example on the left, the alignment is 32 bits, so each byte received from the source device is aligned on a 32-bit word address. When the source port is wider than the destination port, data are truncated to fit the destination port width. In the example on the right, the 32-bit words received from the source device are truncated so that only the 16-bit lower part is written to the destination address. When pointers are incremented on source and destination, the increment is equal to the port width. DMA controllers support circular mode, allowing to configure the number of data items to transfer once and automatically restart the transfer after a transfer complete event. This is convenient to support continuous transfers, such as ADC scan mode. When circular mode is active, the internal registers containing current source and destination addresses, which are not visible by the software, are automatically reloaded upon transfer completion from DMA CPARX and DMA CMARX registers. The priorities between the DMA stream requests are software programmable or hardware in case of equality. Consequently, the arbitration is performed in two stages. The first stage selects the winner among all channels programmed with same priority. This arbitration is instantiated four times, one per programmable priority level. The channel with the lowest number will get priority versus the channel with the highest number. The second stage selects the winner among all channels programmed with different priority. Channel arbitration is reconsidered between every data transfer. Each DMA stream is designed with this group of interrupt events. The half transfer interrupt flag is set when half the data has been transferred. The transfer complete flag is set when the transfer is complete. The transfer error flag is set when an error occurs during the data transfer. This table indicates the state of the DMA controller according to the current power mode. In sleep and low power sleep modes, the DMA controller remains active and can be used to transfer UART or I2C received characters to memory while waking up the microcontroller. The STM32G0 includes a DMA request multiplex that maps transfer requests issued by peripherals to DMA channels. You can refer to training slides related to the DMA request multiplexer called DMA MUX for additional information.